In this video, we'll be looking at the final section of our site to complete the contact page. If you remember, we never actually created a page in Expression Engine for the contact page um, via the channel entry because it didn't have this common area up top that had a title and content. Instead, it just had the title of the page and then this content on the side and the main form. What we're going to do with this main content on the side is the same thing that we did with the home page and the content on the bottom. We're going to take it out and put it into a snippet and that keeps our template clean and it allows us an easy place to access it and if we ever wanted to put our contact information maybe in the footer or somewhere else as the site expands um, we could easily do that and break it up. So we'll go ahead and go into the contact page and we won't take the section tags because if we want our contact information we're going to keep it as just the contact information and we'll go next and we'll create a snippet called contact info. Let's go ahead and close that out come into our snippets then we'll create a new snippet called contact info and then we'll paste in our information. So looks the same but now in our template all that we have for our main contact page is the contact form itself. So this is getting quite a bit cleaner now we just have to deal with this contact form. Expression Engine has a module that comes with it called email and what email allows you to do make sure that it's installed is to be able to send email via any form that you create on the server so the way this works is that you wrap your form in expression engine tags that look like this and again this format looks familiar we've been looking at expression engine channel entries and channel categories now we see the email module and the contact form um, part of it. If you go back to the email module it actually has a tell a friend or share via email as well so the contact form is the one that we're going to be using. And like all Expression Engine um, calls we have a number of parameters that we could use for this. First one is the character set and we'll just use this uh, default. Um, name is if you want to create a custom name ID or attribute on your form tag which this tag replaces. Um, we, we won't worry about that. Um, recipients is important. This is your email and because it's in the EE template you could see it in the template but you won't be able to see it once it's published to the page um, in the markup. Um, we're going to use return and this will allow us to um, display a little thank you message after they submit the form and then um, we'll turn off user recipients because we don't we don't necessarily need that going to them so let's go ahead and just start with their email contact form and come back into our contact template and we'll take out the original form and add in this one So character set will leave Let's just go ahead and change this to your contact information. Please don't send your emails to me. And um, we'll say user recipients is false because we do not want that. Um, we can add a little redirect and we can control that. We'll say for three seconds. And we'll see what that does in a moment. And then we're going to add a return attribute. Let's type it in here and then explain what's going on. Okay. <clears throat> so what we have here is return to the site URL index.php contact thanks. Why can't we use the path equal to contact thanks? The reason is because Expression Engine will not allow us to parse the path um, global variable here. We could potentially create a snippet and then with that snippet we inside of the snippet just say pages equal to contact path equal to contact. Thanks. Um, but we'll just do this this long way for now um, and we have to add the index.php because we have not 
<coughs> removed it yet um, by HD access. So with this little setup here, we should be able to get our email to be sent to us. The last thing we have to do here is just copy this and replace the closing form tag with the closing expression engine email contact form tag. So we're beginning to look even more like an EE template here. Um, the last thing we have left to do is to go out and test this and see how it works. So if we come back to the contact form and we refresh it, okay, it still looks the same and it's using, well, it doesn't look like it says has an error. Email message is required. So if we go back and we look at our code, it's not going to look like we have anything wrong with our email message. In fact, that looks, that looks pretty okay. Um, problem is, is that they don't really make this explicit, but you have to use the exact same name tags that Expression Engine does. And the name attribute value that they use for email is actually from. And this matches up with the PHP mail function and makes sense um, to a programmer. But what that means for our code is that even though this was marked up this way, we have to change this email to from. So if we go ahead and update that, go back and look at the site, email message is required. So let's go ahead and it says that we need a message. Let's go ahead and fill this out. PE freelancer support test message. And let's go ahead and send that. Your email has been sent. Click here if you're not direct. Oh, we are directed, redirected. And notice that we have contact and then forward slash thanks in the URL. Um, we're still on the contact page and it's valid. And what we're going to do is pull this URL instead of creating another page called thanks inside the contact um, template group. We're just going to use this parameter on our contact page to test if it says thanks and then display a thank you message. And here's what that'll look like. We'll say if segment two is equal to thanks, So we want to make sure that that's clear of them, and then we'll close that if conditional there. Um, so this is saying if the second URL parameter, which is this second one, is equal to thanks, say thanks for getting in touch, we'll get back with you ASAP. So let's update that and refresh this page. And notice that now it says thanks. So if I go to contact, it doesn't have it. If I submit the form, So it's thank you, it's being sent, and then thanks for getting in touch. Great. So that looks good. Now we got to see if our actual email has come in. So we can pull up our email here, and sure enough, we see from EE Freelancer to me, there's a test message. The problem is, is that, look, there's no subject in our email, and I don't really want a subject line here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my template and add a hidden text input that will just hard code a subject. And if we look at the expression engine markup, we can see that they use name equal to subject. So we'll make sure to use that in our template. And right here before the first one, and if you haven't used a hidden um, input field before, it basically just passes a value to the server but it doesn't display it to the front end. So we'll say the name is equal to subject. In case. And then the value is going to be equal to Okay. So now that we have that hidden, let's update that. 
and we'll go test this again. So now if we pull up email now, notice how it says contact from EE Freelancer and that's looking much nicer. So we are at the point now where we have a pretty much 100% dynamically updated and controlled through the Expression Engine panel. In fact, um, if we don't mind getting our hands dirty with our template manager here and editing our code, we can manage our entire website, um, expand it, contract it, deal with graphics and everything from the Expression Engine control panel. Um, and on the front end, we could see that we could update the title, the content on the page, add different types of custom content, um, as well as static pages, dealing with categories and our examples work. And finally, with our contact page and the email sending, um, even doing some verification for us. So that pretty much wraps up our Expression Engine EE Freelancer Portfolio web series where we uh, walk through how to get up and running with a basic website in Expression Engine.